we're not surrounded. Okay, the snakes went down pretty easy. And now we're blind. Just killing time in this hallway until the blindness goes away. Let's eat something then. And go back to waiting. There we go. Okay, let's try dipping our sword once more. This is risky, but... From the murky depths, a hand reaches up to bless the sword. As the hand retreats, the fountain disappears. Let's check it out. Yes, we have the blessed rust-proof plus one Excalibur. Yes, this is it. Awesome, what I was hoping for. We now have an artifact weapon. Uh, it has a few abilities built into it, um, such as automatic searching, protection against certain effects, plus some bonus damage. I think it does an extra D10 damage on every swing. Very, very valuable. And that'll keep us in excellent shape. I really don't want to die to something random and retarded now. Because this is actually going relatively well. Uh, we have reached level 9, so that's pretty good. But we do have a lot of unidentified stuff still. What we really need to do is find a friendly altar and make some holy water. Dungeon level are we six? Okay, so we're not that deep. We should be able to fight anything we face pretty easily. Oh, let's apply our key. I feel so smart every time I use my key to unlock a door instead of just kicking it down like a primitive. Headstone, this is RIP, R-I-P. Go down, go up. a boulder around, which will get stuck here by the secret door that we didn't explore. Chime of a cash register? There's a shop on this level. What the fuck is that? An owl bear. Oh, this is probably going to hurt a lot. Oh, alright, that wasn't too bad. We'll eat his corpse. Now, satiated. So I want to be careful not to eat anymore, or I might actually choke on the food. Plus, I can get fat. And by that I mean I would actually lose dex if I spend too much time satiated. Some leather armor. Eh, let's drop the leather armor. There's no way I'm possibly going to want it. I'm quite happy with my armor. I mean, I suppose it might be magically enchanted, but even then it would have to be really, really enchanted. Ooh, booby trap. I'm a little staggered here. Wobbling around on my legs. I heard a door open. Oh, kill the goblin shaman. Loot the large box. It's locked. Well, all right, so I have a key. Yes. Take something out of the box. A scroll, okay. Kill the iguana, and hey, we have an antique weapons outlet. It's got some armor here, too. Weapons and armor. That's good to see. Um, I don't really need much, though, to be honest. I mean, maybe a backup weapon. Is there anything I'd like to sell? I got some extra weapons. Will you take these? Excellent. Nice doing business with you. Another trap door. Stunned me a little bit. Recovered pretty quickly, though. Learned to shut my eyes first, after the last one. Uh, oh, there we go, downstairs. Kill the lichen, pick that up, we'll eat that later. We got a white gem here, it's good to see. Pushing a boulder. That was quite a long corridor here. Kill the dwarf zombie, another one. Another one, can't see them on dark vision. Some tripe rations. 
and a wand. It's good to see. Crocodiles. See, the lizards just keep getting bigger and bigger. And guardian naga hatchling. Kill that. We're going to eat the crocodile. Tastes like chicken. A pair of fencing gloves. Yes, I don't have any gloves. Good. I mean, we want to make sure it's not cursed before we put that on, but... Oh, look at all these statues. We are on the oracle level. Hello, oracle. Welcome to Delphi, she says. Well, it's good to be here. I don't know. I'm not going to attack you. I don't need any, uh... Any enlightenment from you, though. Thanks. You can ask her questions, you can give her money, and she'll give you some prophecies and things. But I'm not interested. Ooh, a landmine. Stay away from that. Ooh, pick up those eggs. Oh, we're in... Our knapsack is too full again. Okay, so we're going to stick... What are we going to stick? Axe here. Put something into that bag. We'll probably stick our, like, scrolls and things in there. Because they take up a lot of space, and we're not doing anything with them right now. Yeah, there's a lot of scrolls. I may as well put the spell books in there as well. That way, at least, if we get wet, if we happen to fall in the water, they won't blank all the scrolls on us. Homunculus, kill him. The giant bat as well. And a beetle, too. I'm just mowing through things with Excalibur. Such an amazingly beastly weapon. Go down, come back up. Well, that about does it for the floor, actually. So, What do we got? A gargoyle. Cool. Gargoyle corpse. I wonder if they're safe to eat. Hmm. I don't really want to explore with my food. I'll be honest. Uh, gargoyle. I don't know if there's a way to find out. I won't bother. I'm just going to ignore it. We'll just keep going down. Kill the fox. Alright. Some stairs up. Oh, this is the Sokoban level. Alright. It's good to know. So the Sokoban level is very interesting. And I mentioned before, I'm pretty bad at it, and I'm definitely going to use the spoilers to make sure that I can defeat it properly. I may not record it, though, because I'm not sure how interesting it'll be. Well, some of it might be. I'm going to fully explore this level first, eat the jackal corpse, which blinded me again. I'm being attacked by something. An Etten. I can see. Oh, the pony's attacking me. And the pony had an engagement ring. I, I'm i not going to ask any questions about that. That's just, uh, no. Loot the box, yes. It's locked, okay. Let's apply our keys. Loot it, yes. There's nothing... The box is empty. Why would someone lock an empty box except to make me waste time? I got a scroll here. Yeah, grab that. Loot this box. This one's not locked, and it has 550 gold in it. I don't know what the logic is there. Something seems awfully confusing to me. Kind of like these hallways that loop around for no reason. The downstairs. Well, we may as well uh, do our little thing here. But I want to go and do the Sokoban level. Okay, was this it? Yes. Alright, so the Sokoban level. We, and I'll probably pull up this map here. So we are here. The exit is right just to the south of us. But there's a bunch of pits walk blocking our way. Pit, 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 pit. So if we fall down the pit, we'll arrive on this floor once more. So what we need to do is push these boulders into the pits, which will fill up the pit, and then we can walk over it. All right? Make sense? Good. So we want... Um, but we want net hack spoilers for Sokoban. So, and every level has two versions, so we need to know which version we're on. Looks like we're on version A in this particular case. Oh, there's a ring. There's a lot of loot on this level. Oh, I can't go diagonal anymore. Feeling clumsy. Haven't worked on my reflexes lately. Alright, so, I guess we start over here. I, I gotta do it from this map, because it'll be a lot easier. Push A right one square... Push C up one square. 
the right one square, the left to here. down. What do we got over there? Some apples. Uh, right. So, push this. There we go. So now we're going to push our first boulder into a hole. Thump! And it just drops down. And what is this? That's tripe. So, um, to get this loot, because it's actually sitting on top of the pit, uh, if auto loot is on to pick up everything, we can just jump into this. We'll grab the tripe automatically before falling through to the floor. But I don't care about the tripe so much, so I'm just going to push some boulders into this. Thump. And when a boulder runs over something, it destroys it. So that's why it can be important to do the auto loot thing if it's something important, like jewelry. And that is a wand. And this is a scroll. Now... There's actually two scrolls, and if I recall correctly, name, no, G, this scroll is guaranteed to be a scroll of Earth, which summons boulders. And that gives you something that, um, in case you get stuck in Sokoban and you don't have enough boulders, you can summon some. However, it does decrease your luck. Destroying a boulder and creating a boulder both decrease your luck in this, because it's lame and stupid. They don't like you doing that. Need a few more. It's really awkward on this screen. Because you got to get the angle just right. Because everything's diagonal and it's you don't want to make a mistake. Push something the wrong way. Have it get stuck up against a wall. Ruin your day. Now, luckily, doing Sokomon, your food, your hunger does go down much, much more slowly. So you don't have to worry about going too hungry in here. I mean, you might still. I don't think it freezes it completely. But it'll take a long time. All right, now we'll go up to the next level, and we find yet more Sokoban. Which is level 2, version A. All right. So where are we? We are here. God, I'm so thirsty. I should get something to drink. And pushy. And then L. Oh, what do we got here? Rations. A little overburdened. So we're going to push this way. What do we got here? Fortune cookie. Yum, yum. 